Conspiracy Cats is literally lying to everybody. Um, he doesn't understand how this curve calculator works. Hello, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Christmas yesterday. As you've just heard, apparently I'm telling lies now. Um, well, this video I'm putting on the Baldy Cats channel rather than the Conspiracy Cats channel because it's going to be a lot drier than the Conspiracy Cats stuff and it's going to focus on aspects of the curve calculator that uh, have just become relevant in yesterday's video. So I'm going to deal with those. I'm also going to look at how misunderstanding these aspects can lead you to believe that the Earth is flat or misapplying deliberately or otherwise can lead other people into thinking the Earth is flat. So let's get started. Okay, so this video deals with the topic of the Conspiracy Cats video I did yesterday, and I've linked that in the description. In that, we had an observer over here looking at a mountain called Pikes Peak over here. Let's get some numbers to this. How far apart were they? From Al Canyon Road, which is here, and he's looking way over here to Pikes Peak, and the distance is 132 miles. Okay, so they were 132 miles apart. Now, I understand that this here, the, the arc length will have been 132 miles, not the straight line. There are videos on this channel of how that is corrected. Let's get, uh, let's get some more heights. So his ob observational height is 1633 meters. So the observer height was 1633 meters. What about Pikes Peak? And the top of Pikes Peak is 4302. So Pikes Peak was 4,302 metres. Now, if you take these numbers and put them into the curve calculator linked into the description, and again, there's videos on this channel of how the curve calculator works, it will tell us that we should comfortably be able to see most of this mountain. Not a great deal of the mountain is blocked by the curvature of the Earth. But what Ranty Flat Earth does next is something a little bit special. Uh, so we're going to take off 1633 off 4302. So what Ranty Flat Earth has done is he's drawn an imaginary straight line from here to here and he's taken this as his sort of base height and called it zero metres. He's then deducted this 1633 from this mountain to leave him with an observer height of zero, who's here, and a much, much smaller mountain uh, with a height of, let's have a look, 2,669. Now, of course, this is a much, much different situation than this. And when you plug these numbers into the curve calculator, it does tell you that about 3,542 metres will be blocked by the curvature of the Earth. So using these numbers, that mountain shouldn't be visible. And let's do the, cal the calculator on that, the Earth curve calculator. So this is the globey, 132 miles. The view height, zero, because we've already worked it out to a flat plane now, taking off the observer height. Um, what it basically says is that 3,540 metres should be hidden. Now, the whole basis of my Conspiracy Cats video yesterday was saying that you cannot do this. You cannot maintain the same radius of the Earth, the same curvature, and just shrink the mountains. That clearly doesn't work. Now, Sleeping Warrior, the Oliver Hardy of this uh, duo, he had a look at my video and decided to step in and save his friend. Um, but it didn't go too well. Let's listen to where he starts. Anyway, let's the carry on. calculator on that, the Earth curve calculator. This image here. So as this mountain range goes around the curve of the Earth, 3,542 metres of it is hidden or dropped from his observer height over here. But the mountain is only 2,669 visible. No, Ranty, the mountain is still over 4,000 metres. You've just, for some reason, no, decided not. you're going to... Right, so that's where we stop. We don't need to do any more. The mountain is still over 4,000 metres, did he just say? Let's just catch that again. So Sleeping Warriors stops the video when I say that this video should be about 4,302 metres tall. Um, let's listen to his reasoning behind that. You can't use the elevation of this because it's going to give you a hidden value that's already hidden by the terrain that you're on. You can't do it. There's only one way to do this, and it, you have to either bring everything down the way you did on the previous one, or you bring the earth up. Right, so what is the flat earth, the sleeping warrior talking about? Let's take a closer look. This is Pike's Peak, and this is the observer point. Sleeping warrior is saying we can't use the full 4,302 metres of Pike's Peak because that starts at sea level. This is the land, the terrain in between, which clearly isn't at sea level, right? This will be sea level here. And he wants to change the numbers a little bit, so let's do that. Let's put some numbers in. Now, luckily for us, Sleeping Warrior has given us all the numbers we need on a video that he released himself. I want to be really clear about that. These are not my numbers. These numbers come from Sleeping Warrior himself 
on his own video. Right, so using the numbers that Sleeping Warrior himself provides us with in his own video, this distance here is a little over 9,000 foot. What have we got? 9,114 feet. 9,114 feet. What about this height here? Well, this height here is 341 feet. Now, <clears throat> why is it 341 feet? Because from sea level, we have a distance of 5,341 feet. This is going to come really, really important later on. And remember, these numbers come from Sleeping Warrior himself. And this height here is 5,000 foot. And so this is the situation we're left with now. A new observer height of 341 foot. A new height for Pikes Peak of 9,114 foot and still a distance of 132 miles. Now, when we plug these numbers into the curve calculator, this is what we get. Now, when we're looking at the curve calculator, it's really important to hit the advanced tab and change the Earth's radius so we can add the 5,000 foot of that train above sea level. I've done that in what you're about to see. Sleeping Warrior also remembered to do that. So we can clearly see that the hidden height, even without refraction, is well below that 9,000 odd feet of the mountain that we've got left. So the mountain should be visible. So Pikes Peak should clearly be visible. And just remember for one last time, where did all of these numbers come from? All these numbers come from Sleeping Warrior himself on his own video. Let's just remind ourselves that for one last time. So when Sleeping Warrior or... Uh, Oliver Hardy of our Flat Earth duo, tried to defend Ranty Flat Earth by redoing this calculation. What do you think he used as his observer height? Do you think he looked at the numbers that he put out on his original video? Do you think he used 341 feet as his observer height? Or do you think he used something else? Let's find out. So we've got 132 miles. Observer height is, we're going to put six feet. He's not at six feet. He's basically, you know, he's basically at zero. It's brought it right up to him. That's right, instead of using this 341 foot that he literally told us with his own figures we should be using, he's decided to use zero feet, or give him the benefit of the doubt, he said six foot, didn't he? And obviously when you put these numbers into the curve calculator, it tells us we shouldn't be able to see this mountain. So I've got to ask, why are we using zero foot here? Is it an honest mistake? Is he finding it difficult to take 5,000 from 5,341? To leave 341 foot? Is that what the problem is? I don't know. But the problem is, look at the drop. The drop here is crazy. Let's go back to metric. The drop here is crazy. 3,541 metres, right? Absolutely. Using these fudged figures that we've got from Sleeping Warrior, we do get a massive drop height and a massive hidden height that suggests we shouldn't be able to see this mountain. But remember, Sleeping Warrior himself, from his own numbers, said that this should be the elevation height that we're using. And those numbers tell us we clearly should be able to see that mountain. And you can see there that when we do use that elevation height, what we get really clearly matches the photograph. And if you've made it this far into the video and you don't know what that photograph looks like, check out the link to the Conspiracy Cats video in the description. So there we have it. In summary, Rancy Flat Earth makes a video and gets everything wrong. Sleeping Warrior makes a video and gives us some numbers. But then to save Rancy Flat Earth, he has to change the numbers he's given us and either deliberately manipulate and fudge the figures so the curve calculator works out, or he literally cannot take 5,000 from 5,341. I'll let you decide. Take care.